Welcome again to WordPress 101 brought to you by Web Devils. I'm Brett Phillips and this lesson is on the appearance section of your WordPress administration area. We're going to be going over what is a theme, what are widgets, how to edit the menu for your navigation, changing the page header and the page background, and also what is this editor that you see in there. All right, we're back on our website, and we want to change the way some of this stuff looks to give it a little bit more of a personal brand. So let's head back over to our dashboard area, and down here on the left, you're going to see appearance. Go ahead and open that up. <clears throat> the first thing we get is themes, so let's check that out. Themes allow you to change the way your website looks visually. By default, the new WordPress comes with a theme called 2010, which is the theme that we're using and the theme that we're going to be editing. You can find lots of themes online for free. You can find premium themes that you pay for. Uh, just go out there and search for WordPress themes and you will find more than you could ever imagine. In order to upload them, you would just come here and click on Install Themes and upload whichever theme you decided to download from the Internet. We're going to leave this alone for now, and we're going to work with the theme that we already have. The next thing we have is widgets. Click on widgets, and you're going to see a list of default widgets that are available to us. These come with WordPress, and they allow us to do different things throughout the site. So let's head back over to our website real fast. The widgets, by default, are going to show up over here in the sidebar. These are the ones that are here already, and we're going to change that real fast. So, let's head back over to our widgets area, and this is really easy to do. So, let's say we want to show our recent posts. We'll just grab that, drag it right over here, and bam, we'll click Save. Let's see what happened. Okay, so it shows our one and only post, which is the recent one, Hello World, I Like You. Let's fill that out a little bit more. Let's put our search back there, in case people come to our site looking for specific things. Uh, maybe we want to have our pages over there so people can navigate throughout our site. Let's see how that looks right now. When you drag these over here, by default they're automatically added. You don't have to click Save. But if you edit the widget itself, you would need to click save. So let's say we want our title of our search to be search. Let's click save. Let's go back over here and see what we're looking at. All right, here's our title, here's our search, here's our pages and our recent posts. This is all great and everything, but I want one more that's a little bit more custom. So I'm going to grab this text, which is a blank widget. I'm going to give it a title of Powers Full of Service. We thank you for visiting our website. Please contact us today. Let's get started working on your car. Let's click save and see what happens. Come over here, refresh. All right, up here we have our little text widget. Now we can use HTML in here so we could add images if we wanted to. Um, we can add some JavaScript, say you have a, a mailing list form that you want to put in here. You can embed a video in there, anything you want. But we're going to leave this alone for now and move on. Back over here in our administration area, the next item is menus. This is new with WordPress 3.0, and this allows you to customize your navigation menu as well as create more navigation menus to use throughout your site. This is a whole thing on its own, and just for your purposes, just leave it alone this will automatically happen for you and one navigation is probably enough for most people once you get more in depth though you can certainly get in here and start learning how all of this works okay let's go to background The background is this gray area we have all the way around our site I don't really like that so I'm gonna go ahead and change it to the same blue color that's in our pure logo I already know the hex code for that so I'm just gonna copy it down here and paste or we could select a color 
by using this here. Say we want it to be red, we click red, green, blue, etc. But we don't, we want our blue color. Let's save changes. Come back over here and refresh. All right, our background is blue. That's looking a little bit more, uh, a little more eye-catching, isn't it? If you wanted to use an image, say you have a customized image, you would just upload it right here, download it from your, uh, or upload it from your computer. But we don't, so we're just going to stick with this. All right, the header. This is our header right now. This picture of the trees and the road has nothing to do with us, so we're going to upload our own. Okay, here we are in the header image area. <clears throat> now, what we're going to do is upload image from our computer. But by default, you get a couple different choices. And so let's say we wanted to use this one right here. We would just click that. Go ahead and click Save Changes. Come over here and let's refresh. Bam, we got a brand new image right there. So let's go ahead and upload the custom one that I made. Please forgive me. My uh, graphic skills in the time of urgent need are pretty weak, but it'll do the trick. Howard's banner. Go ahead and upload. All right, you see that it's worked. Let's go ahead and save these changes and visit the site. Okay, there it is. Not the prettiest banner, but it is a little more customized for us and will, you know, help us out a little bit more. All right, the last thing we want to cover is the editor. I highly recommend if you don't know what you're doing, you stay out of the editor, but if you're interested in learning some of this stuff, uh get in there and tweak around. You can break it, but you can always fix it. Here we are at the editor screen. By default, the first thing that comes up is an editor for your style.css. This is where you can change many options about how different things look on your website. We're not going to get into this because it's its its own project, but I just want to show you how some of this works. Uh, over here on the right, you have your different pages that you can edit, the different sections of the pages. For instance, you can edit the footer.php, you can edit the header, uh, the main index template, and so on, and as well your style sheets down here. Again. I wouldn't recommend you mess around with this unless you know what you're doing, but at least now you know what it is and what it's for. All right, we've covered quite a bit of material up to this point. Don't fret though, we're almost finished. We've got just one more video to go. I want to thank you again for watching and we will see you in the next video.